The Cabinet of the Philippines Filipino, Gabinete ng Pilipinas, usually referred to as the Cabinet or Filipino, Gabinete, consists of the heads of the largest part of the executive branch of the national government of the Philippines. Currently, it includes the secretaries of 20 executive departments and the heads of other several other minor agencies and offices that are subordinate to the President of the Philippines. The cabinet secretaries are tasked to advise the president on the different affairs of the state like agriculture, budget, finance, education, social welfare, national defense, foreign policy, and the like. They are nominated by the president and then presented to the Commission on Appointments, a body of the Congress of the Philippines that confirms all appointments made by the head of state, for confirmation or rejection. If the presidential appointees are approved, they are sworn into office, receive the title. Secretary, and begin to function their duties. Constitutional and legal basis Appointment Article 7, Section 16 of the Constitution of the Philippines says that the President Cabinet and Cabinet-level officials The men and women listed below form the cabinet and are the heads of the executive departments of the Philippines. Departments of the Philippine Government All departments are listed by their present-day name with their English names on top and Filipino names at the bottom. Officials with cabinet-level rank the following officials, while not heading executive departments, have the rank of department secretary and are part of the President's Cabinet. History The foundation date of various departments vary, depending on whether their origin can be traced to the First Republic or during the American era. The listing of cabinet officials is particularly complicated during World War II, when there were two governments, the Commonwealth of the Philippines first in unoccupied areas and then in exile, and the various governments established by the Japanese. First Republic Until the Tejeros Convention in 1897, government functions were conducted by the Katipunan. The convention decided to replace the Katipunan with a provisional revolutionary government. This was in turn replaced by the Biak na Bato Republic which in turn was disbanded because of the Pact of Biak na Bato. The revolutionary movement was then led in exile by the Hong Kong Junta. The revolution resumed in May, 1898 and resulted in what is officially considered the first actual, in contrast to provisional or preparatory government, that of the First Republic. Constitution of the First Republic explicitly stated the government ministries to be formed. Mabina Cabinet, January 21, 1899 to May 7, 1899. Apolinario Mabina, Foreign Affairs, Prime Minister. Mariano Trias, Finance. Teodoro Sandico, Interior. Baldomero Aguinaldo, National Defense. Gracio Gonzaga, Welfare Paterno Cabinet, May 7, 1899 to November 13, 1899. Pedro Paterno, Prime Minister. Leon Ma. Guerrero, Agriculture, Industry and Commerce. Hugo Iligan, Finance. Felipe Buencamino, Foreign Affairs. Severino de Las Alas, Interior. Aguedo Velarde, Public Instruction Maximo Paterno, Public Works and Communications Mariano Trias, National Defense Philippine Islands Under the Philippine Commission, and then after the Philippine Legislature established a bicameral legislature, the American colonial government established cabinet offices appointed by the Governor-General of the Philippines, that continued up to the Commonwealth of the Philippines. The executive power was wielded by the Governor-General of the Philippines. Among cabinet officials, Filipinos and Americans held various posts, except for that of Secretary of Public Instruction, which was reserved for an American, specifically, the Vice Governor General. Commonwealth of the Philippines 
With autonomy achieved, the President of the Philippines appointed the cabinet members. Philippine Executive Commission Established in response to a directive from the Imperial Japanese Army, the Philippine Executive Commission assumed administrative responsibility over government in Japanese-occupied areas of the country. War Cabinet of the Commonwealth The existence of war resulted in the consolidation of cabinet portfolios and the formation of a war cabinet. The war cabinet system was reorganized several sometimes. Second Republic The Second Republic replaced the Philippine Executive Commission. Cabinet officials gave up the title of commissioners and became known as ministers. Restoration of the Commonwealth The Commonwealth of the Philippines was restored on Philippine soil in October, 1944, and formally restored in terms of its authority in February, 1945. Third Republic After recognition of Philippine independence in 1946 by the United States, the former Commonwealth now as a republic under the 1935 Constitution continues its function stated therein until 1972 when Marcos declared martial law and wielded dictatorial rule. Fourth Republic in 1978, under the 1973 Constitution, the departments were renamed into ministries. The 1973 Constitution originally set up a parliamentary form of governance, but this was amended before its full implementation into a semi-presidential form of government under Marcos' dictatorial will. In 1981, martial law was lifted, the regular parliament convenes with César Varada being voted prime minister and as well as finance minister. Fifth Republic Under her revolutionary powers, President Corazon Aquino abolished the system of government ministries and restored the department system. With the ratification of the 1987 Constitution, this change became permanent. List of Cabinet of the Presidents See also Executive Departments of the Philippines List of Female Cabinet Secretaries of the Philippines Notes References External links Official site of the President's Cabinet